In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the steps that I took to paint my scenery from the Warcry base set. The first thing I did was prime all the scenery, and I used a satin green primer as a base because I wanted the scenery to have a mossy look to it, and after painting, any bits that were missed would show through as green and hopefully achieve that look. Using just a cheap dollar store acrylic, I base coated all the areas that are going to be stone in grey. I'm intentionally only painting the most forward surface and not letting any of that paint get into the gaps of the brickwork, trying to achieve that look of moss growing between any empty spaces that I just mentioned. I'm also putting a heavy coat of grey on any pieces that are made out of metal. Once that was done, I covered all the pieces in a strong tone wash, or you could use Agrax Earthshade if you prefer. Then using Bane Blade Brown, I dry brushed over all the pieces of stone. This made it sorta of dusty and dirty looking. I followed that up with a dry brush of white to pull out all those little extra details. The next step was to base coat all of the wooden pieces of scenery in brown, again using a cheap acrylic, as I find it's just too wasteful to use a good paint on such large surface areas. This included painting all of the spikes as well. Using Bane Blade Brown again, I dry brushed over all of those wooden areas. And for any of those wooden spikes, I went a little bit more heavy with that dry brush. Using Screaming Skull, I base coated all the skeletons and the skulls. Then I just covered those with a wash of flesh tone, and that's all I did there, and I think that turned out really good. Then, using a lighter brown, I went through and picked out all of those pieces of rope. Followed by a wash with soft tone. Now onto the metal parts. Firstly, I base coated all the metal in Iron Breaker. I followed this with a wash of dark tone. And finally, using a sponge, I applied some dry rust just to give it some character. The last thing I had to do was the statue of Sigmar's head, and to do that I started with a base coat of bronze. For this next part you could use Nihilac Oxide if you have it, but I didn't have it so I made my own by mixing some Lamy Medium with a Scaly Hide Green. I applied a liberal coating all over the head until it looked like it had a green patina. And that's it, the scenery's all done and I think it turned out quite nice. Hopefully this was helpful to someone out there, if you have any questions feel free to ask, I'd be happy to help out. See ya!